So if you pass into like the fifth sphere, what happens? Have you been learning that stuff in your sleep state? Mm -hmm. or do you know? have to go back? Yeah. Yeah, so if you if you develop yourself now on Earth to the fifth sphere condition before you pass, then in your sleep state, every you have a house already in the fifth sphere, and and you'll remember it actually once you once you go there, you'll actually remember all of your sleep state really? things, all the things. Oh, the dreams? Uh, they're not dreams. They're actually reality. They're actually experiences that you have in your sleep state, in in out of body, and you will remember every one of them. But dreams are something different. Well, it, like I said last night, there is sort of like, there's two types of dreams. One type of dream is the actual reality of the experience in the sleep state. The other type of dream, which is mostly connected with emotions, is to tell you about the emotions you are not dealing with in the awake state that you need to be dealing with. And, and where do those, those sort of dreams come from? The soul or the mind? All of the dreams about that are emotional come from a, usually a collection of places. They come from, firstly, through your soul, but often they come from your guides, where your guides are just trying to trigger and prompt certain emotions, and they've talked to you about it in the sleep state, and then placed little images and, and chains of, of events inside of, inside of you so that you're conscious of them when you're awake, and, and in order to help bring up some of those emotions. So let's say tonight you go to sleep, and then halfway through the night you wake up in the dead of fear, mm -hmm. and, and you know, you're shaking, and you just have this dream about someone chasing you with a knife or something. Mm -hmm. Well, that kind of a dream is actually there to explain to you what feelings you are not dealing with in your awake state. I feel foolish, but that's something else I have to work on. Yeah. So that's good. I'm working. <laughs> All right. So, so often through the night, I sometimes I wake up and the bed is just soaking. Other times it's slightly damp. Whatever I'm, I'm. All right. What is happening in that state? Am I releasing? A lot of anxiety and fear. Boy, I wish I brought my guitar. Everyone thinks it's just reminded me of that song. I've got one in the car. Do you want it? It just reminds me of that song. Not a way to go when my sheets so wet. Oh, now you do. Now I love it. Oh my God, I stepped out there and risked it. You know, he steps on my toes. Yeah. But actually, what's actually happening is, yes, you do process emotions in your sleep state. And, and in your sleep state, you are just as capable of processing emotions as you are in your awake state, if the sleep state emotions were created in your sleep state. So, so let's, say, let's say in your sleep state, when you first uh, experience your sleep state, you were in the first fear condition, then obviously a lot of the things you would have seen in your sleep state would have been quite scary. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And there would have been lots of fear associated with those sleep state events that you only remember in your sleep state. And yes, you will actually process them in your sleep state as well. You will release them emotionally once you set your intention to deal with your emotions. You will release them emotionally in the sleep state. The Often the sleep state and awake state, uh, emotions are very similar though. Often we have some deep fears in the awake state as well that we are refusing to acknowledge. And so usually when we're doing things like waking up in a sweat or you know, waking up with a bed with a sheet sweat from, a, from you know, perspiration or whatever, that's a good indication that we're actually ignoring some awake state emotions as well. And and we need to allow ourselves to start addressing the terror that we feel within us. So terror is a very, very difficult emotion to deal with. Because when you feel it, you will be terrified. When you experience it, you will feel terrified. And so it's a very difficult emotion for most people to, to allow themselves to go into. But it is an emotion, just like all other emotions, that it does need to be released by experience. And all that's happening in those kind of things is you, you're, you're just triggering some of these emotions. In the sleep state, you're releasing emotion that were created in the sleep state, and in the wake state, you're releasing emotion that was created in the wake state. 